Hi friends, so welcome to the first part of the solution where I will discuss image processing, image augmentation and how to approach this problem. Okay, so in order to solve this challenge, I am using Kaggle notebook because here I will get a virtual GPU memory of 16 GB, virtual RAM memory of 13 GB and a disk space of 5 GB. So first understand the data set. As you can see, we are provided with two folders, one is test images and one is train images. In the test images, there are image IDs for which I need to predict its level and in the train images, there are some image IDs and for these image IDs, we have a CSV file describing its particular level, means a level with its corresponding image ID in these train images, okay. So, these train.train images, image IDs are described into train.csv and the IDs for test images we need to predict here. And embed into a test CSV and submit the file. Okay, so let's delve into the topic. So, in order to solve this problem, we'll use Fast AI, as Fast AI is very advanced computer vision model for solving CNN based application. You can read about Fast AI in the Fast AI blog, where you get several like vision models, vision learner, vision interpret. There are several things in the Fast AI. I will discuss as much I can. At the end, I will share my notebook link and also my GitHub link where you could get the source code. And I think this project is a very good one for the starters who are willing to build their career in deep learning and also in computer vision related application. Okay, so let's import FastAI and let's import the train.csv. Okay, so as you can see. In the train CSV file, one is image and one is class. The class is corresponding to the particular image. Okay. So let's find out how many class levels are present in the CSV file. So train class dot value count. Yeah, we got there are a total four unique classes: food, attire, miscellaneous, and decorations. Image. Okay. Now let's call a inbuilt function in FastAPI that is get transforms. So tfms equals to get transform. So what is this get transform to? Okay, let's see. As you can see in the first AI, the get transform is used to do image augmentation. So if you are learning CNN for the first time, so let's tell you what is image augmentation. So image augmentation means create duplicate of your images with certain changes. This is the the most simplest definition I could give you. Suppose this is a cat image and this is the same cat image but it is horizontally flipped okay as you can see it is flipped and also in this section it is stretched in this section as you can see the contrast level is different is in these images also the lighting effect are different in these images it is rotated because as you can see this is rotated and this also a little bit darker image so these things is called image augmentation when you made some copies of your same image okay in order to do this there is a very uh, good function that is get transform and in the parameter of get transform you could pass how much amount of rotate you want if you want, want horizontal flip or not vertical flip or not like as you can see uh, in the get transform you could pass max rotate flip vertically do flip do. so just go through this block here you could get all the parameters like do flip flip vertically max rotate max zoom if you want to zoom the image max lighting you can change the lighting p lighting is a lighting means okay so these all things extra tfms if you want your custom image augmentation then you can use extra tfms okay so these are the section you need to learn and if you want to know better about each any every parameter let's go through this topic okay so Let's back to our kernel. So we call TFMS. Okay, get transform cities. Okay. Now let's set the path. Uh, input. Okay. Let's set the path of it. As you can see, this is the path of me because after the train images, we could get the image IDs. So I will set the path. Yeah. It is done. 
now what i need to do to train the model i need to fetch the labels of the train image ids from the train.csv so let's see how to do that for this i will use image list okay so np dot random dot set zero i will define the source image list dot from csv i will pass the argument path in which csv file the labels are containing and i will also define the folder where my train images are present train image okay so so let's shuffle the data so that it doesn't get overfitted for this purpose there is a simple function that is split by random rand is it t0.2 okay and the label are from the data frame because we are fetching the labels from the data frame image list is not defined okay sorry a silly mistake Uh, what is the error? It does not exist. Okay. Sorry. I made a little mistake because the train does is based in the data set, not in the train images. Okay. So let's resize the image. To solve CNN based problems, you need to remember that always you need to resize images. Okay. You maybe resize the image. 228 if you have larger disk space you may uh, 128 if you have smaller disk space so i will use 128 for my purpose so i will pass the image of my parent object I'll pass the argument size as 128 data bunch and i will normalize the image normalization is very vital when you are doing image processing and i will pass here image net stats because as you all know that when a model is get published a new CNN architecture it is first checked on the ImageNet data set so it is a standard data set we are using that parameters to normalize our data means in the ImageNet the normalization the researcher have been used we are also using that same stats that's why I passed ImageNet stats it is inbuilt in the first AI library now let's see the data okay so as you can see we have total 4787 train images and the image size are 128 cross 128 cross 3 and in the validation data set we have total 1196 images and also the uh, dimension is 128 cross 128 cross 3 now let's visualize some random images let's visualize some of the random images sorry images okay data dot so bunch this is inbuilt function in the first AI library sorry so batch rows equals to three this rows parameter defines how many rows you have to see and a fixed size parameter this defines your figure size I'm defining seven cross one let's run it one problem oh sorry it will take a little bit time because there are a lot of images as you can see this is satire this is miscellaneous this is food this is decorations image and as you can see this is a little augmented here image also augmented this is quite flipped this is satire this is food this is decoration image okay thus we created image augmentation and also resizing of images because resizing is a very vital part when you are solving image processing related hackathons always you need to bring all the images into same dimension thank you in the next part i will discuss how to build the model